What's up guys, the Real Sports Talk Pro Wrestling Analyst and Day Squad Pro uh, here with you today. I'm going to be talking about uh, the 2012 Money in the Bank. Uh, it's coming right around the corner and I'm just going to give you my predictions and a slight little preview. So we have uh, four matches so far that we know are going to happen. We got the World Heavyweight Championship match between Sheamus and Alberto Del Rio. CM Punk versus Daniel Bryan for the WWE Championship with AJ as a special guest referee. And the two Money in the Bank ladder matches. One for the World Heavyweight Championship contract and one for the WWE contract. Um, and then you also have the pre-show tag team but match. But I'm not really going to talk about that too much because it's not actually on the show itself. So first, I'm going to start with the World Heavyweight Championship match. You got Sheamus versus Alberto Del Rio. Sheamus is the champion. Uh, Del Rio just pretty much recovered from his uh, concussion, which is why he didn't face Sheamus at No Way Out. Uh, going into this match, it doesn't have too much buildup. It's not like shoving down your throat, but it's also not uh, too little. So I think it's a good amount, especially with um, the incident on uh, the live SmackDown on July 3rd, uh, yeah, July 3rd, when Alberto Del Rio beat up Sheamus using the hood of his car. I think that just adds more dynamic to the match itself, and the match should be good. Um, I would look for an interference from, um, what's his name, uh, little Ricardo Rodriguez, but I still think that Sheamus will be able to come out on top and hopefully start to feud more with Dolph Ziggler, because um, Dolph Ziggler obviously is in the Money in the Bank match, and possibly may cash it in if he is to be the winner. But I do see Sheamus coming out on top and uh, still being the World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, next match you got the, um, I'll go to the ladder match, the SmackDown Money in the Bank ladder match. Uh, now there's not, it's not as star studded as most ladder matches usually are. It's probably one of the least star studded uh, Money in the Bank matches in WWE history. The only champions, or former World Heavyweight Champions, uh, you got Dolph Ziggler, who was champion for all of about 12 minutes, and you got Christian. Uh, no one else has really won a World Heavyweight Championship or WWE Championship, so there's not a lot of stars, but there's a lot of bright young talent in this match. And obviously, you got the two favorites in the match. You got Dolph Ziggler and Cody Rhodes, and then you got the sleeper uh, who's pretty much burst onto the scene in the past couple weeks, Tyson Kidd. Uh, and then you have some other pieces, but they're not... They're almost filler. You got Damian Sandu, uh, Tenzai, Sin Cara, Santino Morella, and Christian. Um, Christian has a small chance. Like if one of the three that I didn't mention that I mentioned before weren't to win, I think Christian would win. But guys like Tenzai, uh, Sandu, Santino, uh, Sin Cara, none of them should win. If they do win, that'll be a huge issue because none of them are capable yet of being the world champion or getting a shot at that. Uh, if one of those do happen to win, I'd look for something like what happened with Edge and Mr. Kennedy, someone to challenge them for their briefcase and win that match so ne neither them or none of them get the opportunity. But personally, I want Cody Rhodes to win. Uh, I've jumped on his bandwagon. I think he is the future of the WWE, but I think you also got Dolph Ziggler in the match who WWE sees is more the future and I think he will come out on top uh, but I think he, him and Cody Rhodes will be the ones battling uh, at the end of the match for the briefcase. I think Dolph Ziggler will knock Rhodes off the ladder or just be able to grab it first. And I would not be surprised if Dolph Ziggler goes to cash in his uh, briefcase on the world champion. Uh, it'll be really interesting to see the order of the card, uh, where the ladder matches are as opposed to where the championship matches are. Because uh, I know recently the championship matches have been... Uh, not opening, well some of them have been opening, but they've been earlier in the show, so I wonder if they're going to push it back, the World Heavyweight Championship, because that's normally the one that's first. Uh, maybe they'll push that back so they have the ladder match first, so if they do want Dolph Ziggler, Cody Rhodes, or whoever does win to cash it in, they have that opportunity. Next, you got the WWE Championship match between CM Punk and Daniel Bryan with AJ Lee as a special guest referee. Now these two have been they've been going at it for a while now, and I've, I've I've been liking what they've been doing. And I think adding AJ into the mix is uh, it's actually done a lot for this angle. It's pretty much the big summer angle, pretty much like CM Punk's was last year when he had the whole uh, pipe bomb interview and then uh, ditching the company. Now it's not this angle isn't as uh, awesome 
as that one, but it's still good, and it, it's got a lot of attention from people who have been hating on WWE recently. I think in this match there's going to be a lot of distractions. I really don't think AJ is going to disqualify anyone, so the use of steel chairs, or the championship belt, um, kendo sticks, ladders, whatever they have to do, I think that will be used. Uh, but as for predicting this match, there's a lot of ways it could go. You could have AJ screw Brian, AJ screw Punk, uh, Punk when clean, Brian when clean. Uh, there could be a distraction from outside. Maybe Kane shows up. And just all these things that could happen, which is what makes this match even better because there's just like endless possibilities. But I do think CM Punk will come out on top. I think AJ will mess with Daniel Bryan, CM Punk uh, hits the GTS and wins it, but I think the winner of the Raw Money in the Bank match will come and cash that in. Uh, speaking of the Raw Money in the Bank match, uh, they only have four competitors this year. We got, or so far, we got John Cena, The Big Show, Chris Jericho, and Kane, uh, all of whom have been previous champions before in their career, but I would not be surprised if they add someone to uh, the match late, someone like Rey Mysterio, uh, Chris Jericho, or not Chris Jericho, The Miz, pretty much anyone, because they need more people in the match. Four people, it's not enough. I mean, they are big names and some of the biggest names in the company, but that's still not enough, and it's not going to be as entertaining as like a six or an eight man Money in the Bank match. And it's almost like a filler for some people. Like, I think this match is just to put John Cena on the card. Like, he really doesn't, he's not feuding with anyone. No one really hates him right now. He doesn't have anything to do, so they threw him in the Money in the Bank match, and they may have him win. I personally, I think John Cena is going to be the winner. I've heard rumors that at SummerSlam you may see John Cena versus CM Punk for the WWE Championship, so maybe John Cena wins this match and then goes and cashes in after um, Punk wins or after Brian wins, whoever does win, goes and cashes in, and he's the new champion. But like I said, any four of them could win because they're such big names. I think WWE is comfortable having any of them uh, on top. Now this is just an interesting fact. All four of these men have been involved somewhat in a cash-in, I believe. Like they've either cashed it in like Kane did or Ben had it been cashed in on them. And recently all four of them have been feuding with Daniel Bryan. So maybe Daniel Bryan wins and one of them cashes in on him. But that was my Money in the Bank preview and predictions. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, hopefully and most likely, WWE will throw some other matches in uh, probably by the, before it starts. Maybe like a Rayback squash or something like that. Uh, but that's pretty much it. The Money in the Bank ladder matches do take a while, so they may not have as much matches. Hopefully this one can be as good as last year's one, although it probably won't be. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you guys are looking forward to watching WWE Money the Bank Sunday, uh, July 15th.